I enjoy commuting with an e-bike, and over the past couple of years, Fido bikes have become a favorite of mine due to their performance, quality, style, and lovely colors. For the past few weeks, I've been riding a new Fido bike around the neighborhood and as part of my daily commute. It's much more affordable than I anticipated, and I think you will like it too. Hello everybody, this is Matthew Miller, otherwise known as Palm Solo, coming to you with another e-bike review. Boy, when it rains, it pours, and for sure right now we're seeing the season of the sun and the spring, and e-bikes are coming. So the last Fido bike that I tested was the Titan Fat Tire Bike. I tested that out in the fall and the winter, and I rode it in some snow and mud and trails and all of that. And then before that, a couple years ago, I tested out the Fido X which was a folding, a very attractive and unique bike that is now with my daughter in Colorado, and that's a folding bike that we pull out and go on bike rides there. This new bike is the Fido C11. It's designed for commuting and enjoying life around the urban environment, right? It's an upgraded D4S, but now has a removable battery and hydraulic brakes. Two great upgrades, and I'll explain one of those upgrades in a little more detail. It is available in this lovely emerald blue color, and if you look in the pictures of the video, you'll see a little more close-up of that color. It's also available in white with some black highlights. Now, this bike is fairly light. It's 54 pounds in weight, so it's not quite as light as those 36, 37 pound carbon fiber and lightweight aluminum bikes that I've ridden and tested, but it is still fairly light and useful for commuting. It has a capacity of 265 pounds and then the rear rack here can hold up to 55 pounds of weight as well. It has a 500 watt rear motor with a 678 watt peak. 55 newton meters of torque are provided through the cadence sensor that's on this bike. Now Fido advertises up to 40, 34 miles on just the throttle and up to 56 miles in pedal assist but that's an eco mode. I rarely travel in eco mode. I usually bump it up to uh, the one, two, three usually two and three levels, and I tend to ride it around uh, in a mix of throttle and pedaling. And I'm seeing more in the neighborhood of 20 to 25 miles. I do have some hills, I am a little heavier, that kind of thing. So despite the rated miles of 34 miles with the throttle and 56 with pedal assist, you're probably gonna see less than that, which is nice to have this feature of the removable battery. So you can put the key in here, pop this battery out, and pop another battery in. And thankfully the battery that's provided here is is a $267 additional accessory if you want to make, get another battery. So if you're going to have really long commutes, you may want to have a spare battery. Now, myself, I commute on a bike seven miles a day and then train the rest of the time. So for that seven miles, I'm easily able to go a full week of commuting, no problem, because I'm usually working three or four days a week, maybe in the office kind of thing. So it depends on your needs, but be aware that the mileage isn't as long as maybe some other bikes you might be used to. The hydraulic disc brakes are great. They have 40 millimeters of travel. And as you can see here, they have 700 by 40 C tires on board. That's a great commuting tire, kind of also good for some minor trails and things like that. It does have five levels of pedal assist and a throttle, as I mentioned before, along with six gears so you can get up a hill and everything else. It has a very comfortable velo saddle, adjustable handlebars that you can adjust the angles, and it has a nice swept uh, design on those handlebars to make it very comfortable with good rubber grips on the handlebars as well for your hands. It does also have front adjustable shocks, so if you're gonna ride on some light trails and things, you might have a little bit more comfort there. It does have a very powerful headlight and a loud horn, and then the back light is actually a brake light, which is very handy for safety reasons. It does have on the left side a small color LCD display that is very easy to read and see in all lighting conditions, and then all, the bike is also rated to IP54, so that means you're gonna be able to ride it in conditions if it's not perfect out. To be able to, enable the cruise control, you can also long press the center button on the and on the controller and turn on the cruise control. If you long press that M button, you can also unlock your speed limit and get it up to 25 miles per hour. There's also a USB port on the bottom of this little controller here, so you can charge up your phone if you'd like to. And then there's a Fido smartphone application. You can use that application to manage the bike, any firmware updates, theft lock, things like that. All the tools that you need to assemble this bike and maintain it actually come in the box as well. 
So while the bike is lovely, it's well built, it's comfortable to ride, it's also not perfect, right? There's one thing, there's a couple things that kind of bother me a little bit. One is on the controller. To go, in most bikes, what I see is an up and down arrow, so I can go up in assist or down in assist. On the Fido C11, you push the single button here, but you have to go through Eco, Normal, Sport, Turbo, Turbo Plus, and then back to Eco. There's no way to go up and down. You have to scroll through all of the five assist modes to get to the mode that you like, which isn't that convenient if you want to just jump between one and two modes here and there. Also, for some reason, and maybe this is user error, it took me forever to get the front fender adjusted so it wasn't rubbing, and I still have a little tweaking to go to get that perfectly right. Last thing I'll mention, as I mentioned earlier, the battery life is good, but it may not be perfect for very long commutes, so there is that removable battery you can pop in and off there, and it's a pretty good option for uh, getting that additional accessory. The Fido C11 is priced at $899 on their website right now. It just has a regular price that's showing of $1099. There are several accessories available, including a front basket, pannier bags, rear rack, bag, and a $99 mate watch, which I might look into in a little bit later because that watch works with all the Fido bikes, and that is a $99 smart watch, which syncs up your heart rate and a few other things to the bike experience. So Fido is known for high quality bikes that are affordably priced. They don't have the longest range, but that is really the only trade-off for the low price and affordable price range that they have. And there has to be some trade-offs when you're talking about affordable bikes. The Fido C11 can also be ridden without any assist at all. If the battery happens to die on this bike, it's not that heavy, it gets around just fine as a little bit heavier regular bike but it's also lighter than a lot of other commuter bikes. It is very comfortable to ride, has solid safety features, and it's a fun commuter for city riders. Take a look at the Fido C11 City e-bike.